So this video is a little bit different. We are going to be talking about the IWA Silver Propeller Challenge. So in January 2018, the Inland Waterways Association started the Silver Propeller Challenge. It's meant to get people to parts of the canals that are not routinely visited. The argument is there's thousands of miles of canals, but a very large amount of visitors tend to go to sort of the same areas. The same significant areas. But there's quite a few places in less well traveled regions that don't get that attention. And if they don't get that attention long enough, it's basically going to be, um, they call it a cruise it or lose it situation. It's not just canal and river trust waterways, it's all waterways that are nav navigable. So there's two lists of places that are included on the challenge and you have to visit 20 of the places. Can you mix the lists or? Is yeah. It? yeah. So there's places accessible to all craft kept on the connected inland waterways. And then there's a second list, which is places only accessible by local, portable and trailable craft. Um, so they're not on the connected waterways. We are just concentrating on the connected waterways list that we can go to in Perseverance. When the challenge started, we didn't actively think, oh, we're going to do this. It was only when we accidentally visited some of the places on the list that people started telling us, oh, that's a silver propeller um, location. And so we were like, what's the silver propeller? Yeah. And then when we looked at the list, we realised that we'd been to quite a few of them. And we also realised that we'd missed a couple of them, which is really annoying. So what we thought we'd do in this video is just give you an update of how we're doing on the Silver Propeller Challenge and um, go through the list and talk about the ones we've been to, count how many we've been to and see which ones we could possibly go to next. Yeah, so there is a few rules to the thing we should mention. One is that um, the challenge began on January 1st, 2018, which means that anything we visited before that doesn't count. We're not doing the local and trailerable craft portion, we're doing the visited portion. So we basically have to get the boat as far as possible to the point. A few of them, which we'll kind of call out, are known not fully navigable at the moment. And so you you just have to basically get as far as you can and take a picture of you and the boat and, in that area. And it's not good enough that you walk there. You have to get the boat there. Yeah, it has to be on the vehicle. Even if you do the challenge based on the um, uh, trailer bowl and everything, you can use any vehicle, like any floating vehicle. So you could use a paddle board, you could use a kayak. But you in order to. for those to count, you have to be on the water in the kayak. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so you can't just kind of, you know, toss the kayak onto the to the water and go ha take a picture it, that kind of defeats the purpose of the challenge yeah so, so anyway let's start with the list okay so starting from the top the ashby canal limit of the navigation beyond snare stone wharf we got to the end of the navigation as far as a 57 foot boat was allowed to travel the second one is the river raven in warwickshire uh, which is when we traveled from tewkesbury up to stratford and there's, you turn off at Stratford to go onto the Stratford Canal, but there's a bit of the navigation that goes a little bit further to Alveston Weir. And even though we didn't know it was part of the challenge and we didn't know about the challenge, we actually went up there. So that's definitely a tick. Yeah, now this is one where there are some specifications. So it says safe limit of navigation for larger boats is at Avoncliff near Tiddington. And that's where, where we, we, went, where yeah. we turned. Yeah, so we turned at Tiddington. It does say for shallower drafted boats, which I'm basically going to read as canoes, yeah. <laughs> you can go further to Alveston. We're either location is accepted, but all boats must hold an Avon license and obtain guidance notes in advance from the Avon Navigation Trust. Which we did. The next one is the Basingstoke Canal, which was our second canal. And so we can't count this one because we were there before uh, this all began. Yeah, we were there June, May, June 2017. Yeah. But also, even if it had counted... We couldn't get to the limit of the navigation because there was a big closure when we were there. King John's Castle, Odium, was the place that you're supposed to get to. And at the point that we were traveling, there had been a landslip and the entire canal was shut um, beyond, well, not very far beyond Fleet. So that that's a no. That's a definitely a no. So we go back. <laughs> The next one is one on the BCN. There's a few on the BCN. And again, at the time we were on the BCN, we didn't know about the challenge. So the first one is Dudley Number One Canal, Southern Portal of the Dudley Tunnel. Now, if you remember, we went to the northern portal of the Dudley Tunnel, hoping to travel through, realised that our boat was far too tall. So we went to the southern portal. But to get to the southern portal, you have to go up three locks. 
we got to the junction and we're, we're like, can't be bothered to go up three locks. Let's just walk up. Yeah, so we walked ourselves all the way up to the uh, tunnel entrance. This is another one that doesn't count. It doesn't count. If only we'd gone up those three locks. And it's kind of silly because it would have involved going up one lock and then going up two backwards. Yeah. So we, we didn't proceed up there. <laughs> so the next one on the Birmingham Canal navigations near the end of the Dudley Number 2 Canal and through Gosty Tunnel, which is really narrow, is Coombswood Basin. Um, also known as Horn Basin. Also known as Horn Basin, yeah. And the Coombswood Basin is a lovely place to visit, and, and we definitely went there. Um, Very friendly and good prices on fuel. And you could not possibly have gone any further than we did. Yeah, so don't try and turn in on a windy day. <laughs> yeah, so we made it to the basin, we turned around, so that was good fun. So the next one is another one on the BCN, um, and that is the Tipford Pools. And to get to the Tipford Pools, you have to go up the Tipford Canal, which is six locks up, like a there and back. And we did that one, and we got to the Tipford Pools, and it was nice. Yeah, it's lovely up there. There's a nice little kind of avian sanctuary right underneath a major M road. And they do say that you need to be careful of water levels up there, but we were lucky and it was all good. The next one, one of our favorites <laughs> on the BCN, is with the Walsall Canal, Walsall Town Basin. <laughs> Lee said about the Walsall Town Basin, the better. Yeah, pretty much. Watch, it is one of the. Watch the vlog if you haven't. It is seen one it. of the cruise it or lose it places. Um, it's a shame. It could be nicer. It, it isn't really. It's not on the cruise it or lose it list because at the end of the day, it's had a major reconstruction and everything. Oh, this next one is really frustrating. This one we didn't get, but we tried. It's basically the Wensbury Oak Loop, also known as the Bradley Arm. And at the end of it, there's actually the workshops where they make a lot of the lock gates. And um, we tried to go down there and we got down there halfway and there was a work boat that had floated out or had been untied. I think the Canal River Trust said it was due to vandalism and it was blocking the way. But because it was a work boat, we couldn't really tell whether it was there deliberately and the navigation was closed. We did check, there wasn't a notice, but as we've learned, notices aren't always accurate. So yeah. we, didn't, we did run into silt as well. We didn't want to just move the boat and carry on in case... It was there for a reason, so we left and we contacted the Canal and River Trust and they moved the boat, but it was too late for us. We didn't we didn't make that one. That was yeah. a fail, but it wasn't our fault. We tried. Uh, next one in alphabetical order is the Black Sluice Navigation, Boston Black Sluice, controlled by the Environment Agency. Um, That's way over on the East Coast. And, and we'll get there eventually, <laughs> but we've got a long way to go. <laughs> yeah, so not yet. Not yet, not soon, but I'd like to go to any place called Black Sluice. <laughs> so the next one on the list is on the Calden Canal, and it's the Leap Arm Canal Terminus. And we're actually planning to go there once we've been down to Great Hayward on the Trent and Mersey. When we come back up, we're going to go on the Calden Canal. So we should be able to tick that one off fairly soon. The next one is on the Calden Canal at... Etoxeter. I'm not even trying. Basin in Frog Hall. Height restriction through Frog Hall Tunnel. It says winding hole before tunnel, not full length. But I'm not sure exactly what that means. No, but like, we'll try. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go as far as we can. The next one, I don't know why this isn't listed with the BCM ones, but never mind. It's on its own canal. <laughs> it's the Canuck Extension Canal in Norton Keynes. And we went up there. And this is one where I got anxious because Michael tried to go as far as he could. And then it got all silted up and we had to do a backup. So. But I did make it as far as you could. Yeah. Next one is the Chesterfield Canal, um, the Cascade Winding Hole or Limit of Navigation one half mile beyond. It's also known as the Manor Road Winding Hole, apparently. Either way, the Cascade slash Manor Road Winding Hole and the Chesterfield Canal are quite a ways away from here. Yeah, they're in the northeast as well, so we're, we're on our way, but yeah. it's not going to be anytime soon. The next one is a big tick. It's a Langley Mill Basin at the end of the Airwash Canal, and we went there like a year ago, more than a year ago. Yeah. Loved it there. Really nice. Uh, the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal, Saul Junction. This yep. one's an easy tick off because we went right through Saul Junction. We went beyond Saul Junction. So. Yeah, <laughs> we've been through Saul Junction twice. So one that we can easily tick off, and I think we're the only boat, <laughs> not the only boat, but no. we were the only boat that had been there in a while, <laughs> is the Slough Basin on the Grand Union Canal Slough Arm, the actual Slough Basin right at the end, where there is nothing. Nothing. 
I did read there was going to be a development down there, so that's good news. And I totally support any development <laughs> made down there because I, just being surrounded by fences and gravel is not so great. And this is another one that we did before we even knew the challenge existed, so it's pretty lucky that we did that. Yeah, it's really just my tenacity. Okay, the Grand Union Canal, Wendover Arm. Yes, we did this one. We did this when your brother and sister-in-law and nephew were over yeah, last year. This so. is where we got shot at. <laughs> yeah. No, we didn't get shot at. There was, well, there was people. There, there were pellets pinging off the boat. We got shot at. They weren't pinging off the boat. They were landing in the canal. A couple pinged off the boat. Okay. We got know. shot at. <laughs> so I'm that was, still not happy about that. That was an adventurous one. Yeah. <laughs> Next one is also on the list of things that we haven't had a chance to visit yet. The River Great Ooze, the Kempston Mill. Um, this one's at the limit of navigation or just upstream for deeper drafted boats. Okay, the next one is quite an exciting one, I think. It's on the Huddersfield Narrow Canal, and it's Standage Tunnel and Visitor Centre. Passage through Standage Tunnel must be booked in advance and is only accessible on certain days of the week. You actually go through with a pilot, like a volunteer pilot, to help you through. And there is uh, height restrictions on there as well. From what I've heard, the Standage Tunnel height restrictions are not as strict as Dudley Tunnel because there isn't a... Um, kind of mid-tunnel bend in it that mm -hmm. has a, a limiting factor on it. So hopefully we can go through. I, like I would go. really like to go through this one. If the profile matches and, and we, we can get in there, we will definitely go in there. Otherwise, we just have to get ourselves to the Standage Tunnel Visitor Center. So we should be able to do that. And that's not too far away, depending on where we go after. So the next one is the Tewitfield Marina at the end of the Lancaster Canal. Um, this is the northernmost place you can visit on the connected canals. To get there, we're going to have to go through the Ribble Link, which um, closes in, I believe, October. Yeah, so I doubt, I don't know if we'll make it that yet, this year. Well, I would like to, but... Uh, next one. The next one is Carpenter's Road Lock, which we actually went to with Lorna last summer, London Boat Girl, she took us there. Um, it's on the Bay Back Rivers on the Lee and Stort, so that's a tick. The next is another one we haven't had a chance to visit yet. It's the Lids in Liverpool Canal, Liverpool Docks. It needs to be booked a few days in advance to get through the Liverpool link, but uh, totally looking forward to do that, so yeah. hopefully we will have that done this year. Okay, the next one is also Leeds and Liverpool Canal. It's a Springs branch. It's turning totally restricted, and boats longer than 35 foot will need to reverse out until the rockfall is removed. <laughs> yeah, Sounds this, interesting. This is kind of a funny one. Until the rockfall is removed, the location is Millbridge or the rockfall. <laughs> the next one may not even be accessible to us at all. It's Little Ooze, uh, Brandon Creek. The Brandon Lock is apparently only 40 feet long, and um, so apparently slightly longer narrow craft will be able to fit, but we're not slightly longer, we're considerably longer. So yeah, another one which will be towards the end of our journey is actually part of the drains, which we do want to go to, and it's moored Foster Drain. It's only navigable between May and September, so we're certainly not doing it this year. Uh, the next one is on the middle level navigations, which is interesting because it's one of the places people use to try and prove that the world is or is not flat. Here's a simple hint, it is not flat. Um, the Middle nav Level Navigation's Horseway Lock, or the junction of Vermundin's Drain and 16-Foot Drain. 16-Foot Drain sounds fun. 16-Foot Drain sounds a heck of a lot easier to pronounce than Vermundin's Drain. There's another Mid-Level Navigation one, the next one, which is New Dyke in Home. Yeah, it does say max length of craft, craft there is 68 feet, but we are less than 68 <laughs> feet, so that one should work. So hopefully we can make it as far as load ends locked, loads end lock on the new dike. The next one is the Montgomery Canal. Hey, we've been there. Yeah, finally one we've done. <laughs> Bronwyn Bridge, Winding Hole, Maysbury. Yep, definitely. I went right through it. Definitely been there. Yeah, definitely That's been there. Two. Okay, another one over in the east is the Old Bedford River. Access only available via Old Bedford Sluice. News needs to be arranged in advance with the EA. The next one is the Pocklington Canal, specifically Melbourne Basin or Bealby, and it's accessed via the Tidal Ooze and River Derwent. Which is different to the Great Ooze, which we were talking about earlier. Yeah. This is the one that's uh, in the northeast. It is in the northeast, and it is a little bit complicated to get there because you have to arrive on a tide and everything. Okay. In Pocklington, I've heard about this. It does look like fun, although it's supposed to be kind of an interesting, right, like so, sort of 90 degree turn um, while on a tide. 
So I look forward to trying it. Uh, the next one is the Ripon Canal um, and the Ripon Basin. We haven't been there yet. Nope, but we hope to. Uh, next one also on our list of not there yet is the Rochdale <laughs> Canal, the West Summit Lock. Next one, another one we haven't been to, <laughs> is the Sheffield and Tinsley Canal, the Sheffield Basin. I would like to go to Sheffield. Yep, we're going to do all of these if we can. <laughs> And here's one we actually have done. The Shropshire Union Canal River D branch. Um, we get to check that off because of my irritating tenacity at times. <laughs> um, this one does say ongoing navigation issues on the branch may prevent access all the way. I can confirm that may is an understatement. <laughs> it will not allow you through. The location point for the challenge is as far as you can get down the branch in air quotes and I can tell you that as far as you can get down the branch in any narrow boat is maybe about 80 feet out of lock number one. <laughs> but we've, we've got that one, that one's a tick. Yeah. Okay, the next one is the Sleaford Navigation Cobbler's Lock Sleaford Navigation Trust Environment Agency. That one, I think, is one we'll do just before we get to the wash. It's over there somewhere. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Good. The Stourbridge Canal Fens Branch. This one's annoying. This is really annoying <laughs> because this is the one where I wanted to do it. I was intent on doing it. I was talking about it the whole time because I, I wanted to go down the Fens Branch. Then we actually got there. I was tired. And there was a bunch of locks ahead of us. I got there, looked up, realized that it basically is just a straightaway past a bunch of buildings that are sort of decrepit and everything through a bridge. And then essentially you just turn around and come back. So so when we got there, Michael made the decision, no, I don't want to go it down was there. a stupid, stupid decision <laughs> because annoying. we don't get to count the Stourage Bridge Canal Finns branch. <laughs> The next one we do get to count, it is the River Thames at Inglesham, which is the junction with the Thames and Severn Canal, and that's beyond Letchlade. So we did, we got to Letchlade and we carried on. Yeah. Because <laughs> you can't really moor beyond Letchlade, um, but you can go and you can turn around at the junction with the Thames and Severn Canal, and that's what we did. So we've got that one. So the last one on the list of connected uh, sites for the Silver Propeller Challenge is the Winsford Bridge in the River Weaver. Mm -hmm. And we were kind of concerned that you wouldn't be able to make this one at the moment because the Saltisford lock uh, is currently out of commission. And I thought that the Anderton boat lift put us down on the side of that lock that made it impossible to actually get there, but it turns out it's not. So it looks like we'll be able to take um, the boat lift down, get onto the Weaver, head down to Winsford and click that one off yeah. fairly soon. So that's how many we've done. We've done 15. We've done 15 at the moment. So the next ones we're going to do are, there's two on the Calden. Two on the Calden. We're going to do the River Weaver. And then the River Weaver. Yeah, and the next two that are quickest to access for us are going to be what the Standage which... Tunnel, or we could go into Liverpool. You could go into Liverpool and then do the River Link. Yeah. And irritatingly, if we hadn't been blocked by that boat. And we hadn't. And we hadn't made a silly decision on um, the Dudley. Well, two silly decisions on the Dudley. If I hadn't made two silly decisions on the Dudley. We'd be close. We'd be done on the Calton. Yeah. That's annoying. So let us know which ones you visited. Let us know which, which way you think we should go next to finish. Um, and hope you found this video interesting. And if you've beat us and already done all 20, just leave it quiet. Yeah, and don't, don't tell us. We don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching if you feel like it give us a thumbs up comment down below and um yeah definitely subscribe the next one is also on the calden canal it's a tox uh, uh, what the hell is that word utoxeter that's utoxeter yeah okay no, and I'm still fascinated to, get, fascinated to get there, though, because my grandmother always, since the time <laughs> I was a kid, called every sofa or couch a Chesterfield, which means that somewhere up in, you know, the northeast of England, I expect to see a canal full of sofas, <laughs> but I doubt that that will be. Ooze. Not the ooze that's up in Yorkshire. It's Not, actually down near Bedford. Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of oozes around um, England. England has quite a bit of ooze. Anyway. That sounds really... Pants. <laughs> Pants?
That sounds really pants. You know, it sounds really sharp to me. Come on, I've got to edit this. Okay.